Hi, welcome, Robin here. So I've six bit of a six month review for the DJI Mini 2 SE. And whether it's worth it or not to buy it still in 2023, well, coming up to 2024. Um, I'm releasing this video on Black Friday. There's actually a discount going on. It's 259 for the Mini 2 SE, which is well worth it in my opinion. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I've never actually done an unboxing video with this train. I'm gonna show you what you get in the box. Uh, I didn't buy the Creator Combo, I bought the standard one. I think I paid um, £309 six months ago. So, well, first thing you obviously get is the drone itself. And it only comes with one battery. So this is what the box is like. And it comes with the drone, RC cable times three, screwdriver, flight battery, remote controller, spare props, USB-C charging cable and manuals. So let's see what else we get. There's a little box in here. Um, so we get the RCM1 controller, which is a very good controller. I've never had any, any problems with the signal or anything. That's where the antenna is. If I pull that up and you slide your phone in there. And I get asked this question quite a lot. Does it come with iPhone cables? And yes, it does. It comes with a, a micro USB, if you can see that, to USB-C, and an iPhone lightning cable to USB-C. And in the remote, because I use an Android phone, it comes with a USB-C to USB-C, as you can see there. Very easy to use this remote control. Um, a lot of people prefer one with a screen in, but I get on the right with this, to be honest. Because what I do, I grab my phone. Basically, you just slide it in like this. Wrong way. You slide it in, plug the cable in, and then your phone should automatically connect to the app. As you can see there already connected. So would I buy this drone again? Uh, yes, definitely. The image quality I'd say is good, very good. I mean it's not outstanding or absolutely amazing like the DJI Mini 3 Pro but then this is half the price. It's still um, light, 249 grams. And yeah, so the only downside is the, of this drone is the sensor size. It's only a one in two over the three sensor, so it's relatively small. And it doesn't shoot 4K, but to be honest, 2.7K, which I'll show you some of now, looks pretty good. I've taken some amazing shots of the beach, around a lighthouse, all sorts of places. So yes, I definitely recommend this to anyone looking to get a drone, especially if you don't want to pay the, what, five, six, seven hundred pounds for the Mini 3 Pro or Mini 4 Pro. If you do go for the standard kit, I recommend buying some accessories for it, which I've got. Because obviously you're going to need a bag. You can pick these up from like AliExpress. I think I paid £10 for this. I mean, I don't know if this is a proper DJI bag, but it's pretty good. And also I recommend the charging hub, which lets you charge three batteries at once. You can even use it as a power bank. Tells you how much charge you've got in there. If I put the battery in, you should see the lights blink. Uh, you charge it by USB-C and you can put a USB-A cable in there to charge your other devices. And obviously I'd recommend buying at least two batteries so you've got one spare. Something else which I recommend is just a propeller strap. This one was a cheap one from Amazon, but it works works well. Because the problem is you don't get one with the standard kit. So when you put your drone away, the propellers are just sort of left hanging. Just like that. Okay, you can put it, slide it in the bag. Let me fold the other arms down. I mean, you can put it in the bag like that, but you may damage your propellers. So with this cheap propeller guard, you just line up your bottom propellers. 
put the little slotty bit in there, in underneath the gimbal cover. Strap it around the top and just connect it on like that. So they won't get damaged then. Oh, one more accessory I recommend. You see there's Velcro on here. Should have a strobe light somewhere. I recommend the Vifly strobe like this one. It's about, what, £12 on Amazon. Flashes all different colours. And that just connects to the drone like so. So you can see that pretty far away. So yeah, once again, would I recommend this drone? Yeah, absolutely. There is some competition coming in. I see there's a Potensic Atom free axis gimbal, which looks very on par with the Mini 2SE and is cheaper. So I may have to try that in a future video. But now I'm happy with the Mini 2SE. So in my opinion, this is the best value budget drone, good quality budget drone you can get. DJI, I believe that's the best brand of drone. Well, a lot of people will agree with me. It's such good quality. If I were to upgrade this, I'd probably go with the Mini 3 Pro or the Mini 4 Pro, but at the Mini 3 Pro at the moment is £550, and the Mini 4 Pro is 689 I think, which in my opinion is just too much for a drone that you're going to fly up in the air and potentially lose, crash. So that's why I'm sticking to the Mini 2 SE.